Did you know that the biomass in the ocean might be 200 times more than that of humanity? You might be thinking that number isn't right. But do you also know that the entire water body covers over 70% of the Earth's surface? Enough questions. The ocean is a vast territory with much of it still unexplored. Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about 25 deep sea mysteries that will freak you out. Before we move on, remember to click the like and subscribe button to support this channel. There are some scary things down there in the deep. You better hold tight, you are in for a ride. German movie director Werner Herzog once said, What would an ocean be without a monster lurking in the dark? It would be like sleep without dreams. Number 1. The Kraken Usually regarded as a myth, the Kraken has found itself in many legends and stories. Sometime in 1870, a giant squid washed up somewhere in New Zealand. The size of this squid was enormous and the Kraken has always been described as a sea monster with a cephalopod appearance. Villagers in the surrounding area had reported earlier that a giant squid had grabbed and sunk a canoe a while back. The cone-shaped body part atop the heads of squids was over 9 feet on this specimen. Scientists have concluded that squids could grow up to lengths of 19 to 90 feet. So we might still have krakens lurking in the deep. Number 2. Kaz 2 – The Ghost Ship Ghost stories are very common, but ghost ships are a different matter entirely. The story of Kaz 2 will send shivers down your spine. The Kaz 2 is also known as the Ghost Ship or Ghost Yacht. The 9.8 meter catamaran was found drifting in the ocean waters, 163 kilometers away from the northeastern coast of Australia. The ship set sail in 2007 from Australia and was manned by three sailors. It was found on the 28th of April with the motor still running, a laptop that was still on, and the table that was completely set. There was no sign of foul play. To date, no one knows what happened to the crew of the Kaz 2. My best guess? Alien abduction. Number 3. The Stronsay Beast Scotland played host to the Loch Ness Monster, you may have even seen the movie about it. But sometime in 1808, something monstrous washed up on the shores of Stronsay. The carcass was 55 feet long, the tail was believed to be missing, so the monster was probably larger than that. Sketches made at the time depicted the monster with paw-like fins and articulating joints. Scientists claim that the Stronsay beast was no monster, and the carcass that was discovered was that of a decaying basking shark. But when did sharks start having paw-like fins? Sounds like a cover-up story to me. Number 4. The Phantom Island of Bermeja The ocean is a huge place, so ideally, undiscovered monsters might have a home here. But what do you say about islands that mysteriously appear and disappear? The Phantom Island of Bermeja can be found on several maps and charts from the 16th century to date. I don't know if you'll still be able to find it today, I just mentioned that it vanished. In 2009, some brave explorers decided to go explore the location where the island of Bermeja was supposedly located. They couldn't find it. Bermeja isn't the only vanishing island we have on maps. Phantom islands are a phenomenon. Different islands located on maps are simply not just there in reality. Maybe these islands are top secret facilities, or maybe we have found Wonder Woman's home, Themyscira. I don't think we will ever know. Number 5. Cursed Shipwreck in the Gulf of Mexico Cursed items always bring a great deal of bad luck. One of the world's largest oil and gas companies, ExxonMobil, experienced a series of bad luck when they came across a cursed shipwreck in the Gulf of Mexico. They were laying pipelines at the bottom of the ocean when they stumbled upon the shipwreck. A team of explorers was assembled to inspect the wreckage, but nothing went right from the inception of the adventure. As soon as they were getting ready to check the wreckage, the sub malfunctioned, everything went crazy, the sonar broke, the video monitors kept going off each time they fired the thrusters. The Navy decided, hey, why don't we check this thing out too? They sent a research sub to check out the ship and the sub destroyed its rover when it entered the water. When the Navy sub got to the side of the wreckage, its arms were too short to grab anything. This shipwreck just doesn't want to be discovered. Number 6. The Bimini Road 
We all know about the lost city of Atlantis, but the fabled path to that lost city isn't as popular. The Bimini Road is regarded as the path to the lost city of Atlantis. It's sometimes called the Bimini Wall and is made up of rock formations that look suspiciously man-made. The road is almost a kilometer long, 0.8 kilometers to be exact, and is located somewhere near North Bimini Island in the Bahamas. The road consists of rectangular limestone bricks that have been arranged to look like a paved road. The Bimini Road was discovered in 1968 and has been examined by divers, geologists, marine engineers, and the likes. Carbon dating puts the age of the road to the lost city to be about 3,500 years old. The big question everyone is asking is, is this structure man-made or did it occur naturally? Local legend claims that the road led to the lost city and is a part of civilization long lost to the depths. Many geologists have debunked the legend, claiming that the Bimini Road is a natural occurrence. Number 7. The Lost City of Atlantis The lost city of Atlantis have been the subject of myths, folklore, and legends over the years. The concept of living away from the surface has not been swept under the carpet. People can't even stop making movies about it. Some reports say that the lost city has been discovered near the island of Delos in Greece. A planned town complete with houses, several buildings, and several pieces of pottery, the location of the lost city is not precisely known, as there are several theories as to why an entire city must have sunk into the depths. Number 8. The Yonaguni Monument The sea off Yonaguni Island is a popular location for divers to watch hammerhead sharks. In 1985, a diver from Japan, Kihachiro Aratake, discovered what appeared to be a man-made terrorist structure. Aratake believed that he had discovered a sunken city and he announced his discovery. The Yonaguni Monument is also known as the Yonaguni Pyramid or Japanese Atlantis. When the structure was first discovered, it didn't garner much attention. But in 1996, Professor Masaaki Kimura began the survey of the site. Based on his surveys, he claims that the Yonaguni Monument is proof of a prehistoric civilization. If the Yonaguni Monument is not a natural occurrence, it would mean that this structure must have been constructed as far back as 10,000 BC during the Ice Age. During that time, the sea level was not as high as it is today, so the structure must have been above ground. Number 9. The Devil's Sea The Devil's Sea goes by several names. Some call it the Pacific Bermuda Triangle, the Dragon's Triangle, the Devil's Triangle, or the Formosa Triangle. If the Bermuda Triangle had a twin, this would be it. The Devil's Sea is part of the Pacific. It is located around the island of Miyake, south of Tokyo. This region of the Pacific is considered a paranormal location due to the freaky events that take place there. In that region, the Japanese army lost five vessels mysteriously in the space of two years between 1952 and 1954. Number 10. Sea Serpent, the HMS Daedalus Can you tell the difference between the like and subscribe button? Why haven't you clicked them yet? The crew of the HMS Daedalus said they saw a sea serpent, but scientists today are debunking the claim. HMS Daedalus is a Royal Navy warship with a crew that has spent quite some time in the sea so they should be able to tell the difference between a serpent and a fish. For more than 20 minutes, the crew of the HMS Daedalus watched a 100-foot-long serpent with a dragon's head swim near their boat. For fear of their lives, they didn't attack or chase the creature. An American brig named Daphne also had an encounter with this sea serpent. They shot at it and tried to follow, but they lost it at sea. Even with two sightings, scientists still don't believe that such a monster could exist. The ocean is a huge place with enormous pressure that would smash humans flat like a squashed can. To date, 95% of the ocean floor is still left unexplored, so there are probably a lot of unknown elements in the ocean we haven't encountered yet. A sea serpent might sound far-fetched, but we can't just rule out sightings such as these. Number 11. Baltic Sea Anomaly The Baltic Sea Anomaly is one of the most controversial in the world. In 2011, a team of divers discovered something pretty huge 90 meters below the Baltic Sea. The entity was about 60 meters thick, and there was a path spanning about 300 meters that led towards the entity. There are several conspiracy theories surrounding the origin of the entity or craft and how it got to be at the bottom of the Baltic Sea. 
Those conspiracies took another turn when it was discovered that the shape of the entity closely resembles the Millennium Falcon from the Star Wars movie franchise. With the Millennium Falcon in play, your mind wanders to the thought of aliens. Many people believe that the anomaly is some kind of alien spacecraft that crash landed in a weird formation and the ocean floor. To date, the Baltic Sea anomaly is still left unsolved. Number 12. The Jacuzzi of Despair Did you know that there is a part of the ocean floor that has the salinity that is five times higher than the salinity of the ocean itself? People call it the Jacuzzi of Despair or the Hot Tub of Despair. It's an underwater lake located 3,300 feet away from the surface in the Gulf of Mexico. Have you noticed the pattern? It's like all these strange occurrences and beasts have an affinity for gulfs. The Jacuzzi of Despair was discovered by a research vessel based in San Pedro called the EV Nautilus. Scientists were so excited about the discovery. The lake was filled with dead aqua life that couldn't survive the high salinity of the lake. Crabs were getting pickled. Discovering a brine pool in the ocean isn't a new phenomenon, but the Jacuzzi of Despair seems to be the most significant of all. Number 13. Barrel Eye Fish Micropena Microstoma The barrel eye fish is a deep sea fish that was discovered in 1939 but wasn't photographed till 2004. It can be found in the depths of the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans. This fish has tubular eyes that can point upwards when it's looking for food overhead. It doesn't need to turn its entire body or head upwards to look up. When the fish was first discovered, scientists thought the eyes were fixed upwards. Later, it was found that the eyes could rotate, so the fish could direct its focus elsewhere. The head of the fish is somewhat transparent, so its vision is not impeded when it wants to hunt for prey above its head. Its eyes are also very good at receiving light. Number 14. Leptocephalus giganteus Only two of these species of eel were ever found, and both of them were larvae. The first Leptocephalus giganteus that was found was found somewhere close to the South African coast. The larva was 6 feet long. It's expected that when it grows into adult size, it could be over 70 feet long. This estimation was made by looking at the rate at which normal eels grow. An eel of this size would be quite a sight to see. Number 15. Ruins of Dwarka There are several lost cities and underwater ruins in the depths of the oceans. The ruins of Dwarka remains one of the greatest archaeological mysteries of all time. Nobody knows how these ruins came to be or how old they are. The discovery of the ruins of Dwarka adds way to the claim that the legendary city of Lord Krishna is real. I don't know why ancient civilizations always decide to rest at the bottom of the oceans. Number 16. The Megalodon Deep down in the ocean, there are no plants, so it's only fair that life down there will have to snuff out each other to survive. Based on studies that have been carried out, the Megalodon went extinct because of the supernova radiation, the same one which causes cancer and mutation. The Megalodon is the distant ancestor of the infamous Great White Shark. It went extinct about 2.6 million years ago, and there is proof that these enormous predators existed. The Megalodon can grow up to 16 meters in length and one of its fins was as large as an adult human. Where the Great White Shark can bite with 2 tons of force, the Megalodon bites with 10 tons of force. Imagine that! Number 17. The Lost Submarines of 1968 We still don't know if this is one of the greatest military cover-ups in history or just an unsolved mystery. In 1968, four separate submarines disappeared without a trace. A French submarine named Minerve, the INS Dakar, a Soviet K-129, and the USS Scorpion. The Minerve disappeared when it was just an hour away from the port. To date, it has not been found. Two submarines disappeared in the space of four days. Could it be a coincidence or something sinister needed toys to play with? Number 8. Milky Sea Effect the Milky Sea effect refers to the blue glow that is usually prominent in the waters of the Indian Ocean. With the help of science, we now know that the blue glow which looks milky white to the naked eye is caused by the presence of bioluminescent bacterial action on the surface of the water. For more than four centuries, the Milky Sea effect has been documented in history. Back then, people must have been amazed by this occurrence. 
Number 19. Ghosts of the Ocean, Light Wheels in the Persian Gulf in 1949, on the night in the Hormuz Straits in the Persian Gulf, Commander Bodler and his team came across a luminous band that seemed to pulsate. The commander thought it was the Aurora Borealis, but this luminous was below the horizon. It was in the water, and it was moving towards the boat. The pulsating motion of the phenomenon seems to originate from its center and spread out through the rest of its extremities. Commander Bodler reported his encounter with this unidentified object that looks almost like a machine. The object was enough to illuminate parts of his ship as it passed. Commander Bodler and his men were experienced men at sea, yet they could not tell what the light wheel was. Number 20. Cannibal Shark of Australia In 2003, scientists tagged a great white shark that was over 9 feet long, so they could study temperature changes in the ocean. Some months after tagging the shark, the tag recording information was found on shore, with no explanation as to how it got there. When the scientists took a look at the information on the tag, they saw that about four months after the shark was tagged, it dove to a depth of 1,900 feet. This led to a suggestion that the shark was attacked and fed on by a bigger assailant. What could have eaten a great white shark? Maybe a bigger cannibal shark or something bigger? Number 21. Convergence on the Baltic and North Seas this phenomenon has found its way into religious gatherings and books due to the mystery that surrounds it. The convergence of the Baltic and North Seas is a highly debated topic. It occurs in Denmark, Skagen province. The two bodies of water meet at a point, but due to their different densities, they do not mix. They remain separate water bodies to this day. It is uncommon to see religious leaders using the convergence of these seas as a piece of evidence with regard to the existence of a supreme being. Number 22. Adam's Bridge Do you think the idea of warrior monkeys building a bridge to cross a part of the ocean sounds too far-fetched? Adam's Bridge is also known as Rama's Bridge or Rama Setu. The bridge is a chain of limestone shoals that runs for over 30 miles and separates the Gulf of Manar from the Palk Strait. The Archaeological Survey of India believes that this bridge is nothing but a natural occurrence. In 2007, the government of India backed up that claim saying that there is no proof that Rama built the bridge. If you ask me, I'll tell you that's a mystery. Number 23. Mysterious Sounds In 1999, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration recorded a tape that contained a spooky sound that was said to have originated from the Pacific Ocean in a region near the equator. A mysterious sound was recorded on the tape that lasted about 15 seconds. It sounded like someone or something saying the word Julia. The sound was said to be a ricochet from an iceberg grounded in the Antarctic. That spooky sound felt like an animal crying for help and not some iceberg somewhere. Number 24. Bermuda Triangle This is probably the most popular sea mystery we have out there. The Bermuda Triangle is roughly a triangular ship that spans around 500,000 square miles of ocean and is located between Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. The Bermuda Triangle is one of the biggest sea legends out there, plagued with a lot of disappearances. Anything that ventures in there hardly comes out alive. In 1945, an entire squadron of US torpedo bombers vanished into thin air when they ventured into the area. Ships and boats have also disappeared around the area without sending out a distress signal. Number 25. The Mariana Trench The Mariana Trench is the deepest point in all the oceans. The peak of Mount Everest is the highest point in the world, but if you stick Mount Everest down into the Mariana Trench, you would still have 7,000 feet of water. The Mariana Trench is 36,201 feet deep and only four expeditions have made it successfully down there. The pressure down in the trench is enormous and we don't have any idea of what could be lurking down there. Which of these deep sea mysteries scares you the most? Feel free to tell us any other deep sea mysteries that weren't included in this video. If you have enjoyed watching, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Have a great one.